we have to be prepared for the worst here and uh, it's been pretty rough on all of us and we know your families are challenged our communities are challenged uh, we're not over it uh, but as always the Bay State team has come together to support our patients and each other and we're very appreciative of that keep up that great work Greg yes and we appreciate the commitment that you made and the sacrifices that you made to uh, with your families and uh, we just appreciate your continued commitment to your co-workers and to uh, the patients that we serve. And we're here to help you folks so keep up that great work. The challenges have been significant. We can't get around on streets early on. We can't get people in. People can't leave their homes. It's difficult to get patients moved around. It's difficult even to communicate because people don't have power. They've lost cell phones. They can't, they can't see things on television. So the communications, the crisis communications challenges have just been incredible. Everybody's tired at this point. Everybody is, is trying to balance all of those issues and they're doing it in an absolutely remarkable way. We are here now in day three uh, and uh, dealing with the issues as they arise. Sunday was getting staff transportation in and then as we went through the day there were patients showing up in the ED and we didn't have ability to discharge patients out to nursing homes who were on um, emergency power. So it took us through Monday afternoon to really understand how we could make that work a little bit more fluidly. Uh, but we're still getting a large surge of patients coming in uh, for their normal care in the ED. And with all the power that's still out in the air, it's, it's uh, causing situations that we have to stay on top of. Everybody on the Bay State side and the community has been very uh, helpful in their support and would do almost anything that we ask. At times we've asked some things that uh, you know they weren't able to do because of the power situation, but uh, everybody's had all hands on deck. Well, I think the last two days have been probably the two busiest we've ever had because no one has heat in their homes, so patients are staying in the hospital rather than going home. Many of our staff don't have heat in their homes, but they have really responded and stayed to help out the patients that come to the ED. So many primary care physicians don't have practices that are open, so instead the patients are coming here to the emergency department. So we're seeing our waiting room is packed as we speak right now, and I'd have to say I'm really very proud of the staff and the way they have responded to this particular emergency. Um, with the challenges of getting a bed for the patients, Opening up the um, TU unit has been very good for the patients. They're happy to get out of the ED environment and then to come into here. It's been very calm. Um, we've been able to meet all of their needs, you know, um, and have their family present. So I have had to juggle my personal responsibilities with work. Um, we're, we have the only uh, generator in the neighborhood, so our neighbors have been coming over for dinner. My mother-in-law has been staying with us. Um, but I've had the liberty of having heat and taking a shower where a lot of nurses don't have that here. Um, so, yes, it has been chaotic trying to keep the personal life and um, wondering if I'll get out of here because patients come first.